Hi folks, Clay here. It's the middle of August, and that means tomato growing season is half over here in Ramilly County. Thought it would be a good time to go in and start reviewing my tomato plants and how they've done this year. We've had some successes and some failures. It hasn't been the easiest year for growing tomatoes. We had a late freeze on the second weekend in May. July was very hot and very dry. August has been a little cooler and very rainy, so challenging conditions to grow tomatoes in. But we are getting more tomatoes than we can eat, which is really nice. Today we're going to look at Garden Leader Monster from Ferry Morris and Purple Russian from Baker Creek. The cat has decided to come on a tour with us today. Here's what's left of my garden leader monsters. These have been very productive plants. I would say between the two of them they've grown more than 40 tomatoes. I haven't gotten a single one to eat. The deer have come in and eaten them all. The plants continue to set clusters of tomatoes. They are an indeterminate variety, but you can see the deer just come in and cut the vines off tomatoes and all. My deer fence has not stopped them so we'll have to take the game up a notch and maybe we'll push that fence up to seven feet and see if we can take care of the problem. The garden leader monster tomatoes get up to about one pound. This one right here is about half a pound now. It'll keep growing and if the animals don't get it we'll get some nice tomatoes. The plants do suffer from disease a little bit. It's not a serious problem. They normally grow faster than the disease progresses up the vines. So you just continue picking tomatoes from higher and higher up. I will grow this variety again next year. It's always been a reliable producer, if not for me, at least for the wildlife. And on this side are the purple Russians. You can see that both of these plants are dying off. I'm not sure why. They are an indeterminate variety, just like Garden Leader Monster. But for me, they grew as determinants. They grew up the poles to about seven or eight feet, set all of their fruits, and then died off. Most of the fruits were eaten by the animals, but here higher up on the plant, we do have some ripening up. They look pretty good. These tomatoes don't get as big as the Garden Leader Monster but they're still nice sized. They don't get fully red. They keep green along the top edge and they are deep red inside. It's a delicious tomato, very low in acid, and I will grow these again next year as well. Hopefully we won't have as many problems. So I'll pick a few tomatoes today. This is a uh, beef steak. And here's my first carbon tomato. Again, this is another variety that stays green along the top. Uh, they're dark inside. They're considered a purple variety. I'll let this one ripen another couple of days inside. I just don't want to risk the animals getting it. It's a good size. Three quarters of a pound. So let's go inside and take a look at some of the tomatoes we've picked. And we'll cut open one of those purple Russians. One last observation before I go inside. Even in a six ounce yogurt cup, you can grow hot peppers. I'm not sure what variety this is, but when I find out, I'll let you know. Here are the tomatoes we have right now. We're eating two to three tomatoes a day. There are big boys, mortgage lifter, uh, purple Russian, carbon, some Brad's Atomic Grape, large red cherry, and maybe an Ace 55 in there. Nice selection of tomatoes. I don't have a Garden Leader Monster to cut open, but I do have this purple Russian, and we're going to cut this one open and take a look. We'll just take this stem off and slice it in half. Thank you. 
you can see how dark the coloration is. It's uh, deep red, purple, and brown inside. Very juicy. We'll add a little salt and pepper. Need to refill that pepper shaker. That's really good. Mild tomato flavor, not very acidic. Uh, juicy. It's delicious. I'll definitely be growing those again next year. And we'll try some of the other tomatoes as time goes by, and I'll let you know what I think of each variety. But so far, Garden Leader Monster and Purple Russian, both winners, and I'll grow them both again next year. See you all next week.